Hello everyone, my name is Seed. Welcome to AI Transformation channel. In this channel, we are going to talk about uh, how you can use AI to transform your business to the today's world and for the future and discuss the practical AI tips where you can apply directly in addition to just talking to the ethics or the other perspectives of AI where we just need to think a little bit more about it. But this channel is mostly about the applying and then discussing the possibilities and actionable items of AI. And while doing this, I'm trying to make it uh, super safe for the business oriented people because I have an experience of uh, nearly more than 10 years of managing my business. So by using this kind of know-how and then working directly with many businesses as a consultant at my previous career, I will try to talk more about what kind of problems you can just focus uh, and then how we can fix with AI. It's not a development oriented YouTube channel and mostly I'm just talking about the fundamentals, how we can use it in a very basic way and then helping the individual who are just uh, maybe scaring a little bit about the feature of AI and discussing and learning together uh, in this adventure. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the story of this YouTube channel because uh, I came up with a story. Most of the people were asking me for how you are keeping up with the uh, details of AI, how you want to keep yourself up with the, all the new advancements and then how you integrate this into your life. So basically, I'm just uh, talking about them. And then the most basic way is just asking to AI and then uh, asking a question and asking some ideas for naming so when i'm doing this as you can see AI is just coming up with very basic uh, examples so that those ones are not about what i need so the main problem about most of the people's prompts is just trying to people are trying to minimizing the time where you are where they are crafting their prompts instead of just focusing on having a fast result you should better focus on your initial question because this question will start your interaction with AI and it will create the context of the discussion. So uh, if you come up with the basic questions like this and then keeping AI into the correct way of thinking with you uh, becoming a little bit harder. So let's just check in another example which is my initial example. I'm not saying that it is the best one, but I think it's definitely better than the initial example, uh, which is both of them are just made by me. So what I'm saying to AI is that I'm going to create a YouTube channel, but my main aim is helping companies to understand how AI will transform the business and guide them and how do they change their life and then if they want to follow the changes and then how I can help them. This is the main idea of AI channel of me. And I'm saying that my name is Eid Konur. So I also want to include this name into YouTube channel because I want to have better personality and better reputation and having a better brand personality uh, in this manner. So I'm saying that please come up with some ideas, but if it's needed, so just come up with your question at first and then I will answer them and now we can think more clearly. It's just like a natural discussion with an intern or someone you want to teach for something. You, you in, in normal ways, you're just saying something and expecting to see uh, these people is coming up with some questions to make yourself clear about this person, understand what you say. So in here, I'm saying that please come with some questions if you need to ask first. I'm just saying that if you don't need to ask any question, you don't need to uh, ask them to me. So uh, this kind of uh, chat interfaces changed the way prompt engineering. And previously, we were using the completion based endpoint like DaVinci. So, but right now we can just shape the think flow, thinking flow of AI by having a discussion. So we have we don't have just a single shot. Uh, we don't have a single uh, attempt to uh, teach AI about what we are doing. If we have time, we can discuss a little bit more about it. And the best ways uh, to discuss with someone is just 
asking him or her to ask new questions to make it very clear. So the AI is coming up with five different questions, which is not very easy to answer. In this case, uh, in the next videos, I'm going to talk about how I'm using Whisper, which is made by OpenAI, which is helping you to convert your speech to text. And then I'm answering uh, through that. But the AI is saying that, okay, do you want to make it formal, casual? Uh, do you want to mention AI? Anything you want to particularly focus on or what kind of part is more important in the channel? And then I just briefly let AI know about what, what, what I have in my mind so that after than that, it came up with some uh, ideas about these YouTube channels, but it's not the point where you should give up because if you don't like uh, the ideas in here, you should definitely uh, let AI know about why you don't like the ideas. Just don't give up and then don't say that, okay, I don't understand me and I don't like them. So just let it know about what you think about it. So in this case, I'm saying that uh, directly saying something like AI visionary, Yeet Connors futurism, it feels like a little bit egocentric for me, for my character. So I just want to, uh, force AI to think a little bit more about this and then say something like maybe uh, practical AI with Yeet Konosh or something like this. And then it come up with more proper ideas, which has a little bit modest approach. And then uh, I came up with some feedback to the AI and saying that, okay, the, the idea of practical AI is cool. And also I like the ideas, which includes business inside of it, which is cool. So come up with more ideas. And then it say helps me to get more and more. In this case, uh, it, it will be better to say what you like and what you don't like. So in, in this answers, I think that my answers are not very powerful. You should definitely do it better than me. So I just want to ha have some time and then uh, keep it a little bit shorter. And then it understand that I'm looking for something like practical AR or AI advantage, but all of them are just taken. So then it's case, it comes up with some more ideas and I like operational AI, uh, but still looking something more exciting because the operational AI sounds like a little bit boring. So, and then it come up with the name ideas and then I like AI transformation. So, and then I want to ask AI to how, how I can include my name, uh, with this phrase of AI transformation and what kind of YouTube handles should I use? And also, you know, YouTube handle is something very new, which is published nearly two to three months ago from now on. Uh, it's 2023 July. And then it means that uh, maybe these YouTube handles may be not known by AI. And I'm saying that it's something similar to Twitter username. Uh, so it's not 2021. Uh, yeah. And then it come up with some more ideas. And <laughs> interestingly, I'm not very listening AI carefully. And uh, I, I have just asked some questions about which one is best. And then it says that, yeah, AI transformation with Yeet Connor, which, which shows that uh, you're, it's making a little bit personal and more authoritative and come up with some ideas to how, what kind of handles should I use. And then at last I'm asking AI, okay, I'm going to maybe use my name directly at the handle. So maybe it can be more rememberable, et cetera. And then the AI transformation, uh, YouTube channel is not uploading actively videos, so why not to use it? So the AI sense for is just supportive. And then uh, I decide uh, the YouTube channel, we, the name of YouTube channel, uh, where you can see in here right now. So the next step is definitely um, asking to create some logos or uh, some brand visuals for myself. Uh, to be honest, if we just don't work on it, uh, I may definitely go with Fiverr or any other freelancer platform to create a uh, new logo. But instead of doing this, I want to make it with AI too, because why not? And it's very easy. And also there are lots of possibilities to do it, but, um, to be honest, my main focus is not the using the uh, art part of AI. Mostly I was dealing with LLMs, the open source modules, the 
GPT modules, which is published by OpenAI. So uh, I don't feel very, uh, I don't have that much self-esteem for generating images. That's why uh, I found a very cool website, which is called Prompt Base. I'm just checking what kind of style I need in my logo. So maybe this one might be interesting and also maybe having something a little bit minimalistic will be a better idea so that maybe I can just come up with uh, to directly search just like logo and so we have some illustration creators and then yeah some icons etc and what I like about the logos mostly are just having the round logos like this it feels like a little bit uh, unique and then you know I like the American style logos generated in 60s and 70s so maybe having such a handwritten logo like this will be a cool idea so that's the reason why I bought uh, actually some purchases for other projects too so let's go with stamp logo uh, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sorry about making it uh, public to the people, but uh, I will maybe personalize this a little bit more uh, before just uh, pushing them. So the next part is that the, the mid journey prompt generation. Uh, so, you know, the, the, the mid journey is a image generation uh, endpoint. Maybe, you know, uh, how mid journey is working, but the, the real problem of mid journey, it doesn't have API but it's the one of the most uh, unique and most used one in the world right now. So, and also I think the most advanced one to create images uh, when you're comparing with Stable Diffusion or maybe Delhi uh, until OpenAI uh, <laughs> respond to this problem. So yeah, uh, the Mid Journey has lots of different styling guides. For example, this repo is just perfect. You should definitely take a look. My friend Sanjay just showed to me. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it can help you to come up uh, with some words and their impact to your prompt. And then if you're just saying classical realism, which means that you will see the styles like this. And, you know, most of us are not having a major in the art history. So I think that it will be better to just uh, check those parts while modifying a prompt. But as I'm not a clear expert in this area, uh, I will definitely go with uh, some prompts, which is made by someone else. So in this problem, uh, I need to go Discord and then send lots of prompt to the mid-journey, which is a little bit boring. I want to use mid-journey in a very efficient way. So maybe using an API might be an option. So, and then I'm going to Google and then I'm searching for mid journey API. And then uh, I come up with uh, some solutions like the next leg, which is uh, getting the first two position with an ad. Uh, it shows that this guy is a little bit serious about what he's doing in here. So uh, this this project is a really interesting one, so you should definitely check it out. I'm, I know that it's not very uh, cheap for all makers and it doesn't have any trial, uh, but I think that it's definitely, definitely pays off. Uh, the problem about the next leg is that you also need to buy Mid Journey account too. And then, uh, but you can just create unlimited account in here. So, uh, which means that it's very easy for you in this, website it helps you to create a discord account let me just show it to you and then uh no i think that i need to just write this on arc yeah create this on arc oh yeah i have already created so it helps you to create a Discord account with it and then creating a subscription URL and then you click it and then uh, made your subscription. It helps you to create a subscription link to the Discord account it has created, which is very interesting. 
So, and also it has a cool documentation about API. If you are using uh, APIs directly, if you are a developer or if you are a no-code developer like me, uh, you can easily use this kind of APIs and I will publish more and more videos about how you can just connect those two APIs uh, by using simple Python scripts and you don't need to know how Python is working. Actually, even the code interpreter of OpenAI may be useful to do it. Uh, I will I will just check it out. So um, yeah, uh, you can just copy and test and let AI know how it's working, how it's working, and then uh, this thing will make uh, all those stuff a lot easier. So, but right now I have already created mid journey results. A spreadsheet and connected it and I will just talk a little bit more about it in another video and in this case I'm just going to use uh, this prompt and make it a little bit customized for my needs so yeah yes Okay, I will customize a little bit more about more this prompt because the the creator of this prompt has its own rights. So I just want to make it more complex. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think that it's enough and you can see the prompt right now and uh, I'm sorry about that to respect the owner's uh, idea about it I need to do it so you can see my previous images uh, on behind of it so I can just uh, try uh, different versions of mid journey so uh, the mid journey is having 5.3 5 5.5 5 and 4 for this case so uh, maybe artificial intelligence or maybe i can come up with the longer version and then testing it on the very different uh versions so the best part of the next leg is that uh it helps me to create some webhook URLs and I'm using make.com uh, for creating a webhook URL. So let, let me just uh, very basically explain what it is. So the webhook is just like a gatekeeper who is saying that to you. Uh, if you are just sending something to this gatekeeper, this gatekeeper is answering you by saying okay i understand and or saying okay i don't understand if they say that okay i understand i can connect to the another action just like push this data to the excel push this data to google sheets so it's very easy to make this something like this in sapir.com make.com there are lots of different no code tools to make this kind of things better but if we don't have these no code tools or ai we should definitely create a code to create a webhook server to just get the responses from the people directly which is not something uh, i love to do because it takes some time for myself and then deploying etc also it's time consuming for developers too so that uh, this webhook helps me to uh, write the results to the google sheets i will just talk a little bit more about in another video maybe i can add those links to the description so just check it out or check the other videos in the channel so i'm not sure about which time you are using you are, you are watching me right now so yeah let's try it like this let's let's make it a little bit bigger so oh I need to resize the column for maybe 300. Yes. Uh, where is the column? Line? Yeah. Yes, it's better, I think. Yeah. And uh, the customized prompt where I bought from promptbase.com uh, is coming up with the ideas for the channel. Uh, I like some of them, but uh, yeah, you know, 
<laughs> if I'm saying AI, uh, <laughs> the AI is always creating something you can scare off, like robots and then scary robots, the angry one. So uh, this thing is interesting. Maybe instead of just saying AI, maybe I can just keep give more tangible, more uh, dreamable things like brain maybe. So let's go here and then come up with different ideas like uh, like saying maybe brain. Let's check the results and the quality between the different versions. So 5, 5.5, 5. 5, 5. 5. when you just check it out. So it doesn't mean that the the most recent version is better than the previous one. Actually, the version 4 is somehow more efficient for this prompt. So that's why I will just continue to use version 4. And maybe I can come up with the different ideas uh, in, in addition to uh, what's saying in here. So and maybe using AI might be very interesting. And then you can just... I, I just don't want to create a new chat, but I will just ask it directly in this thread. I know that it's not really makes sense, but I'm just doing things more faster for you. Okay, uh, come up with uh, some imaginable uh, words for the concept AI. Uh, for example, brain, uh, connections, etc. So, um, yeah, neurons, learning, synapses, yes, that's nice. So, to be honest, what I'm doing in here is mostly that I want to use uh, the previous prompt I have submitted, and then I will just uh, diversify uh, the concept of AI. Instead of this, I will just do directly to going to image gallery and I will say instead of artificial intelligence I have used you know brain and what what I can use better than brain is maybe using neurons okay and what I can use in here maybe learning I'm not sure about how we can draw the concept of the learning maybe we can say data and maybe we can come the idea of cognition which is interesting uh, maybe the pattern might be the correct word for it and also using such an interface help us to just compare the results so I know the UI of uh, mid journey is right now uh, all about having a discord both but I like this part so to be honest I'm not sure whether it's uh, complying with mid journeys terms of conditions but uh, as a responsibility on top of uh, the next leg so as I don't have any relation with them and I'm not advertising to them because it's the only solution I'm using right now so I'm not directly recommending you to create something like this. Uh, just comply with it. It's the Mid Journeys API rules, but uh, those kind of solutions are needed for the world, I think. So yeah, let's see. So after them making things a little bit more observable and more understandable, we can see uh, the better ideas like this. And as you can see, it's just like neurons looks like a little bit tree but this tree is also helpful to uh, just making the connections and then feels like a little bit more magical for me so and also uh, to be honest mostly I'm just uh, changing the colors of the prompts where I like most uh, yeah mm, to be honest what I like most is these uh, style of things maybe and also yeah this thing is cool okay and yeah this thing is also cool the brain neurons 
is something I like most. So let's just come up with more and more ideas uh, by including those ones. So maybe I can say that the concept of brain with neurons, with neurons that uh, <laughs> I know that it's a little bit complex, but let's see. The mid journey is just try and catch game. So yeah, I will not use this part and I will use brain like AI with neurons like AI. The concept of AI brain, the concept of AI neurons maybe. And yeah, I'm just checking the other alternatives to try to find what kind of logo I can use more. So in this video, I think I, I, I was hoping to completely find the logo of the YouTube channel. Uh, but I think that uh, we are near to this part because I want to that retro feeling of the concepts of logo. So I think this one is cool. This one is cool. I like it. Maybe I can generate more and more images by this prompt because, you know, every time um, it comes up with different thoughts. And yeah. Oh, uh, I don't like them, to be honest. And also, this part of review is not something very. Mm, same for every people. It's very subjective. So, uh, yeah, I like this one. And then we'll focus more on this. And like I have explained, Midjourney have another parameter, which is called S, which is styling parameter. You can just use this parameter between uh, maybe maximum 200. I'm not remembering clearly, but uh, for the logos I like most, I'm always trying to change stylized parameter to see something impressive for myself. So let's see. Yeah. Did you get the idea of uh, using Google Sheets for mid journey results? Because by the next leg, I can just try a lot of without just taking care of queue of mid journey, etc. So it's not very uh, cheap to do it, but uh, it makes you very free. And also, I'm using the standard plan, so it helps me to create unlimited uh, relaxed GPU, which means that I can queue as much as job I can do. And also what I remember is that the next leg uh, is helping me to having a queue and sending the request one by one whenever I'm sending full of information. So yeah, I'm style style parameter is not changing a lot of things in here, interestingly. Uh, but I think that the idea is implemented in different ways by using the style parameter. I can, you can just use it to uh, create variance between of your image generations. So yeah. What I like is mostly this one. My designer friend always <laughs> will definitely most like them. Uh, but <laughs> sorry, Oz, I, I have to uh, make this by AI. I know it can't be counted as a good logo when you compare with the ones who is created by people. But as this is a AI YouTube channel, which means that I need to use AI clearly. So to be honest, I like this one most and maybe using the any other thing. Uh, 
Yes, they are cool, but somehow uh, it's just like a thought. It's just like a brain and someone is some, something is trying to simulate the brain. Let's see how this logo looks like when you just zoom out. So yeah, I, uh, yeah. Uh, when you zoom out, uh, I think that's, uh, I don't like it a lot because it doesn't feel like a brain. So maybe it's, it will be better to check the new examples. So yeah, the choosing any of them uh, will be enough for me. Maybe I should focus on the ones who reminds uh, the brain most to the people. So I think this is the one who helps me to remember this. But uh, to be honest, it's not a final logo for me. Maybe having a 3D logo with the neons and then that will be very cool. So, but for now, I think that I should definitely have this one as logo of channel. So if you, <laughs> if you check this video later and then see that we have another logo, which means that I found a better prompt. So that's all about my story. Uh, we, in this video, we have generated, uh, the YouTube business name for us, the channel name. You can just come up and use this technique to create some domain names, asking AI to ask questions to you to understand you more and better. And also we have carefully crafted uh, one prompt we bought from prompt base and then uh, customize this prompt to have results by using the next leg API, which enable us to generate more images by using make.com's webhook integration, which make things easier. So uh, that's all about us. So just ask your question through the YouTube comments. I will try to answer all of them in detail. So uh, I think that's for today's video. Keep in touch.